Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. Today I have a small update on the Lilygo T Touch T Touch T ball. Touch T ball. Well, you see it here. And as you noticed, the display is brighter. Thanks to a friend of mine, Nick. Uh, he does leave comments. Um, Nick the Fix. He does leave comments below my videos all the time. And we've been in contact via email. And I made a couple of videos for him. And he noticed, I did not, he noticed that Lilygo used a 100 ohm resistor between the cathode of the LED and the transistor. And that was the reason why it was dim, not bright enough for my tastes and uh, hardly readable during daylight, but it is now much better now. So I did. Uh, I didn't have any. The board uses 0402 resistors, and the only smallest ones I had were 0603, and compared to those, it's still huge. And so I changed it out with the resistor, and with a 10 ohm resistor, and this is the result. So it is much brighter now. And I also added a LiPo battery. One thing I miss on this board, as I did on the other Lilygo boards, is an on-off switch. They have a connector. Let me show it to you. I took out the double-sided tape so I can actually detach the display board when working on the main board. They have a connector for a LiPo battery, which you have to... Uh, pull it apart to be able to plug it in and they have a charging circuit in it beautiful but they do not have an on-off switch so you have to put it to sleep in deep sleep and leave and the battery is always connected to it and since I'm working on many many projects at the same time uh, doing so I run out of battery it sooner or later it's dead then you have to charge it again and it would have been so much nicer to have an on-off switch on the board. There is plenty of room on the back. And uh, to be able to turn it on and off. So it was the same with the round display. The 2.1 inch round Lilygo display that I showed you before. So I put it to sleep, deep sleep, but uh, battery lasts only that long on that either. So anyway now that we have a nice bright display and uh, while i was writing to my friend uh, answering his comments i had this idea i want to turn this into a pen like device something different because it's very thin obviously and i have some lipo batteries that are also thin and long that i had ordered and i also have actually some lipo batteries that came out of those um, vape pens and uh, then i had this idea why not turn it into a pen and this board is currently on this code uh, it's using wi-fi but i could use uh, uh, bluetooth bla low energy and uh, have it connected that way and of course with the touch display the focus the touch input I mean the input would would be over the touch and here you have the <clears throat> once you input your Wi-Fi credentials you have time and date I don't well it will probably have sorry it will probably have a clock feature that shows you the clock since I don't have enough clocks on my table I need one more so anyway long story short I want to turn this into a pen and um, if you're interested you can follow me by subscribing and hitting the notification bell and if you want to contribute f further you can buy something from my tindy store or buy me a cup of coffee or even maybe become a patreon because for that pen like shape uh, 
I want to 3D print a case for it. I mean, I might someday uh, make something out of aluminum, but for now it will be <coughs> 3D printed. But I want to use a SLA printer because it gives much nicer details and you can print stuff with it that a regular 3D printer and FDM printer cannot. So, and for that, I, I still need to buy a 3D printer. So any contribution would go towards that or even just the resins because, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I have to buy resins for that as well. And all that costs money. And anyway, um, so I'm thinking of making this into a pen like shape or even make, just put a ball pen, ball point cartridge on there on the tip of it and use it I mean be able to actually use it as a pen as well and my idea is let me turn this off for a second my idea is um, I can actually take that uh, clear acrylic here out and make it it will be thinner then and take the magnetic connector and put it on the on the end of the pen like at an angle so you can still use the cable that comes with it to easily charge up the pen magnetically connect it and or upload code to it so that is my idea <coughs> sorry i have a dry throat and if you have any ideas what this could show it could be a um, stock ticker currency ticker uh, news reader weather i mean you have so many options with wi-fi and bluetooth and input device it's just so much nicer and easier on a touch display so this is what i have in mind as i said if you have any comments questions answers answers yeah, maybe uh, you can leave them in the comments and I also wanted to show you some another new display that I received yesterday. This is actually using the same display as this here. It's a 240 by 280 pixel display, IPS of course. And but it has a touch screen on it. And it has these beautiful beveled edges. So I want to use this display i'm not sure yet what i will make out of it and what i like is it has a connector and the i2 square connection for the touch display is on that same connector so you don't have to deal with two different connectors and it, it came with these um, <clears throat> connectors that you solder onto your pcb like actually the same thing well here on my board dsp board is for the camera module but uh, you get the idea I actually do have a board that's the perfect size for it don't mind this part this is meant to be cut off and uh, it will be something like this you fold this over the, the connector here it was a solder type so think of it of the connector being here on the back and then having connected and then have all the space to use my ESP modules <clears throat> so but no I won't make another watch <laughs> I have too many I, it's, it's been a beaten dead horse or horse dead beaten I don't know but anyway and um, I want to design a case for it for CNC machining and um, if I do make a watch of it I will make it actually I want to make it in this orientation most watch are like in this in the vertical I want to make it in the horizontal even though it's a small display um, I just like it that way better it's more useful for me if it's in landscape and anyway this was just a small teaser and I really like this display it's just so nice with the beveled edges it's beautiful it's unfortunately a little bit too shiny and you get 
like a trillion fingerprints on here. I wish they would use any coding on here to eliminate fingerprints, but that's what it is. So this is it for today. Small update. As I said, if you have any ideas, comments, I also don't like this. You can fix that in code. Have initialized display first and then turn on the backlight, which I will fix for the codes that I will be using. But it is nice and bright now. Anyway, thanks for watching and take care, everybody.